Hey, what is going on, guys? Today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Plot Mines. So this is actually a premium plugin. Like I said, guys, I only try to do the really good premium plugins, and I find this one really useful. But anyways, what this does, it's really good for prison servers specifically, but can be used for other things as well. But this will let your players inside of a Plot Me world or a Plots world. You guys know what that is. We're gonna be creating one of those in this video. But inside these plots, your players can have their own mines which will auto regenerate themselves. It's really good for prison servers like I said because the mines will regenerate by themselves and your players have a mine inside of their own plot so it's just for them. Yeah so you guys can check out the plugin link in the description like I said it is premium but besides that you're gonna also need the plugin which is required called plot squared and of course you're gonna need multiverse core to go ahead and create another world. So let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. First thing that you want to do is we're going to create the plot world. If you already have one, then go ahead and just ignore this step. But let's go ahead and type the command slash mv create. And let's go ahead and give this a name. I'm just going to call this plots. Or you can call it plot mines. Actually, I'm going to call it plot mines. Then you're going to want to type normal because we don't want it to be nether. We want it as a normal world. And then if you guys have your own generator, which can make it look a little bit different from what the plugin gives itself, you're going to want to type negative g plot squared, just like that, and hit enter. And then it's going to start the creation. And then we can just go ahead and type slash mvtp plot mines and wait for it to be done. And then we can teleport to the world. There we go. It's complete. Now let's go ahead and teleport to it. And as a player, we of course have to claim a plot. So to do that, we have to type slash plot auto, and that will automatically claim a plot. Bam, we are teleported to what is considered our plot. And then once we have the plot that is considered ours, and I'm not gonna go over a tutorial on the plots plugin, obviously, but if you guys wanna see that, just let me know in the comments, and I can go ahead and like help you out with the terrain and everything like that, but besides that, let's go ahead and type the command slash plot mines. That will give us the list of commands that we can use for this plugin. If we go ahead and type slash plot mines list, then it will give us the list of tiers that we can use for mines. And basically what a tier is, it will have like a certain percentage of ores for your players so like if you want a player to have more diamond then you would use a different tier with obviously more diamond but we're just going to be using the example from the plugin which is called example so let's go ahead and type slash plot mines give and then let's go ahead and type our name just for the purpose of this video and we're going to want to type the tier name example and then the amount so we're going to want to give the player aka myself just one we can give multiple if we wanted to and here's the block now with this block once we place it down it'll turn all the blocks around it into a mine. Now it's not going to be huge, you guys will see. I'm just going to right click, bam. As you guys can see, it created this so called mine. Now if you want to change the position of this, you can go ahead and right click on the block that we just placed. Now you can confirm the location by right clicking on this block. Now if you want to change the location, you can go ahead and right click again and we can confirm to delete it or we could cancel it. So let's go ahead and confirm and there we go. After clicking OK, that actually deletes it. Here we have back our block. Now let's go ahead and just move it over. There we go. To confirm, let's right click on it again and here we go. This is our mine. So let's go ahead and mine out some blocks. As you guys can see what the example tier is, it's just iron blocks. Now it only goes down a certain ways and we can't mine past the, uh, the bedrock. So after seeing what this looks like, we can change around the percentage of ores in this tier. Now in the config, that is pretty much where we can set it. Now we can set the max plot mines. So the max amount of mines that a player can create is one currently. The permission, the delete fill block. So after deleting the mine, it will turn everything into dirt. The frame around the mine, which is currently glass and you can change that and the rest is all pretty much self-explanatory it's just messages that will display after doing a certain action with the plugin and then here we go we actually have the tiers right here so we can create a new tier if we copy this format for the tier with control c enter a new line backspace all the way and then paste it with control v that'll enter the new line and then here we go this is the name of the tier that we have to change Let's go ahead and call this, let's call this basic. And now we change what is contained inside of the mine. And this right here is the block that represents the plot mine block. So when you place it down, as you guys saw from earlier, we placed down an iron block. So you can change what represents the mine and what enchantments it has and the lore that comes with the block. So you can change that if you want. Let me go ahead and change the name while I'm at it. Basic, basic plot mine, because that's the name of this tier that we're creating and then the actual mine data. So the wall block, which you saw was bedrock, the floor block, which you saw was bedrock, and then the reset percent. So by the time you have mined 80%, the mine will reset, and then the size, so it's five blocks 
apart and then what is contained in it. Let's go ahead and make this iron underscore or because we're gonna try to make this as normal as a mine as possible. So it's zero to 100%, so that is the spawn rate. So it has a 100% chance of spawning in iron ore. Let's go with 50 and then 50. So 50, 50 chance. And then let's also go with stone. So enter a new line, backspace all the way, and then let's go type stone, colon, and then let's go with 50, 50 as well. So pretty much, since we have two blocks, there's a 50% chance of spawning iron ore, and then 50% chance of spawning stone. And obviously it takes a little bit of math to know how to do the spawn rates correctly but there we go we'll see the end results when we restart a server and save this config so then we type slash plot mines list the new tier called basic will pop up and now if we type slash plot mines give our name the tier name and then the amount we have the new plot mine so let's go ahead and place this thing down and see what it looks like so unfortunately I just realized that we have the max so let's go ahead and delete this one right here hit OK there we go now let's place the new one bam there we go now let's confirm the location and there we go exactly as we said in the config 50 50 ratio of iron ore to stone ore so there we go so we have a mine created just how we set it up in the config and it's that easy you guys can make it have whatever items and whatever ores you want and even after 80 percent or whatever you send the config it'll regenerate itself for your players really awesome really useful for prison servers so hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and i will see you guys next time peace out